Hello everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. In this lesson I will show you how to set up camera views in the Cessna 172 or any plane for that matter without having to use a special plugin. What we're looking at right now is the default 3D cockpit of a Cessna 172. It's beautiful, however, if I need to get to certain components such as the mixture or the autopilot, I would have to use my mouse and then I would have to zoom in. When I'm done, I would have to zoom out and then try to bring it back to where it was. But as you can see, if I hold Shift 9, I wasn't quite perfect on putting it back to the 3D cockpit as it was before. So I like to also have different camera angles so that when I'm doing a flight video, it's not as boring and I can kind of see outside and, and kind of change the scenery. So I have this view, which is the center of all the controls that I need. I have this view which shows me the tip of the aircraft which is great for visual landings. I have the left and right window. I can have some angles outside of the aircraft. And my favorite view for takeoffs is this particular view which shows me the, the uh, airport runway that I'm leaving behind as I start my ascent. So let's hold shift, press the number 9 and I'll show you how it's all done. The first thing you're going to want to do Locate your arrow keys on the keyboard and move right or left until you kind of get the aircraft in center. Then you're going to want to use the comma key on your keyboard, which zooms out, and the period key to zoom in. And I zoom out until I see the chair. There we go. And then I slowly zoom in and I keep zooming in until I have the entire autopilot panel in my view, which you see right now. Then I press control on the keyboard and a number key. So in this case, I hold control and I press zero. Now I have that view locked in. If I would like to access that view, all I have to do is press zero. So for example, I'll get back to the 3D cockpit. I'll press zero and I'm back to that view. I also like to set a view of seeing the actual tip of the aircraft. So now that I'm in this view, I can press the up arrow and then use the mouse to kind of tilt at an angle. And now I would press control and two to set that view. So now I can kind of rotate between zero and two. Same for the windows, using the mouse, move to the left, press say control four or whatever number you prefer, move to the right, press control five or another number. So now I have zero, I have two, I have four and I have five. So I can then go outside the aircraft, set a view, set another view, and again a view in front, which I use 7, 8, and 9 for. So this is a really quick tip. It's very simple. This will let you get into a particular view in the aircraft that you would prefer. Maybe you like looking at the GPS panels. Maybe you want to see the entire cockpit. This will let you do that. There is one note though that I'll tell you of. This is specific to the aircraft you're in. So if you're in the Cessna 172 and then you set up nine buttons, we'll say for views, and then you jump into say a Learjet or something else like that, you will have to define the views for that plane. It will be remembered. So the next time you get into X-Plane, you get into your Cessna, your views will be there for you. But every time you get into a new plane that you'd never defined the views before, you'll have to do this over again. So please subscribe. Write a comment in the comment box below and let me know if you like these videos or if there's more videos that I should be creating. Have a great day.